Safe Routes to School is really about making sure that we create space for our students to be able to get from home to us in um, one piece and then our job over the course of the day is to send them back home in an even better state than, than they arrived. So uh, BCS is an extremely diverse environment in terms of our student body and we believe that that's one of our uh, best attributes. We have about 83% of our students in the building receiving free or reduced meals, 87% students of color, we have 14% English language learners and somewhere between 18 and 19% students receiving special services. Brooklyn Center is a great community. It has a lot of diversity. It also has a lot of health inequities though with pockets of poverty. So we approached Brooklyn Center Secondary with the funding that we had and um, explained what the Safe Routes to School program was and asked if they were interested in being involved because they have a lot of students that do walk or bike or I guess you'd say have the potential to walk or bike. We learned a, a few years ago that our young people were um, crossing the streets um, in unsafe conditions where there were no stop signs, there were no lighting. And so for us at Brooklyn Center, we've been able to connect with a number of partners, including the city, and being able to address some of those issues that came about. And so now we have stop signs in place, now we have proper lighting, now we have dedicated routes to be able to get to school safely. We need to make sure that we're making very meaningful connections with community partners to be able to provide opportunities for our students to extend wellness beyond the walls of our campus. There is a, an organization called Three Rivers Parks who we have a partnership with and they have a bike fleet of about 50 bikes or so on a trailer. Three Rivers uh, applied for a Safe Routes to School grant to acquire a bike fleet um, for the purposes of uh, bicycle education and we share that resource with the Brooklyn Center School District. There's usually a person from Three Rivers that helps us and then the uh, police department here, we have Officer Ryan that helps a ton. He comes whenever he can and so between the three of us we can keep the kids safe and we get to take them on a trip and they are just ecstatic. We'll talk to some classes about bike safety, do short presentations, giving the kids opportunities to go out on rides, show them their neighborhoods, the places they can bike to, um, and give them another option for getting around the city besides mom or dad or walking or taking the bus. Um, a healthy way to, to get themselves from point A to point B. Having a bike creates that independence for youth. It allows them um, just that freedom and that independence to be able to have a job or to go to the swimming pool or to be involved in the after school sports. So that kind of fed into our development, our growth of this bike maintenance club. Bike club is a place where we get donated bikes and we can fix them up and sell them or keep them if you want. Uh, I first heard about it from my friend Dominic. It was just me and him looking for after school programs and we just found bike club and we just started going to it. In the two years that I've been part of Bike Club, I worked uh, on around 60 bikes. Working on bikes, building bikes, it's just relaxing. I'm glad Brooklyn Center has a Bike Club, because if they didn't, I probably wouldn't be working on bikes. Uh, we have to negotiate with teachers to compromise about when and how we can utilize their spaces, but we've definitely taken advantage of it, gotten creative built structures inside of the room to be able to store the bikes. So having access to our bike club, they have an opportunity to engage and develop a skill that could help them transition into a career at some point. I think Safe Routes to School just builds community. That's the best thing is that when kids are out walking and they're in their community or biking, there's that sense of connection, a sense of where they live and a pride in their community. 